Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. It is a beautiful, crisp winter morning where I'm taking a cheeky day trip to London to meet various creator entrepreneur friends for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. While waiting for the train, I do some journaling, find that my pen has run out, grab a backup from my bag, do some more journaling, and send a tweet asking my followers to help me come up with an alternative name for Productivity Club or Productivity Lab, the new members community we're launching later this year. On the train, I bust out the iPad and take some notes as I listen to an episode of the Billion Dollar Creator Podcast. This episode is about the power of building a community rather than just an audience, and it's really, really good. I arrive in London and head over to Dishoom, where I meet my friend and fellow YouTuber Taha from the channel Answer in Progress. Hello. I'm back. <laughs> Gonna become Casey Neistat. Gonna become Casey Neistat. Yeah. That's good. We have some food, chat about life, walk around London a bit. There's no, there's no feel-good productivity in this bookstore. No. It's so sad. It's because it's completely sold out. They keep trying to restock it. It just sells out immediately. It's a big problem they're having. <laughs> and then head to the local WeWork to use the little boy's room and to pass the time. One of my favorite things to do on a weekend is to just rock up to a WeWork. And it's completely empty, isn't it? Yeah, it's basically completely empty. It is completely empty, except for the two of us. So we've got the whole place to ourselves. It's like having your own, like, ridiculously cool private office. Hey, Taha. Look at that. It's the vibe. Um, this is not sponsored by WeWork, although they do sponsor our stuff which is why we've gotten free WeWork memberships uh, for me and everyone else on the team. But it's just, I just love hanging out in a WeWork. It's so good. It's sad that they're like experiencing financial difficulties and stuff. I can see why. Uh, because there's just like amazing facilities and stuff. So yeah, I am the, the bullish on, on WeWork. I hope they manage to sort themselves out of their financial straits. Um, but check, check out the view. Look at this. Boom. Whoa. All right, what are you up to today, Taha? What are you working on? I am... Um, I was gonna... I was gonna write a D&D session. So, not really work, but... I have 10 minutes until I go for my lunch meeting. So I'm gonna do some journaling for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna go. Afterwards, I head over to the GA restaurant on Euston Road to meet up with Lauren and Daniel, two internet friends who are becoming real-life friends. They're both also internet entrepreneur creator type people, so we chat about business and life for several hours. Then at 4 p.m. I say goodbye to them to hop on a weekly review workshop that I run each week as a free thing for my audience. If you're interested in joining, there will be a link in the video description. At 4.30, after the weekly review workshop, I have a quick call with Angus, my general manager, where we talk through some ideas for feel-good productivity in the workplace, a training program that we're potentially thinking of building out for corporations and enterprises. Then I head over to London Bridge to hang out with my buddies Pablo and Victoria. Pablo is my business partner for a few software ventures that we're building together, including VoicePal, an AI-enabled creative companion that helps you make sense of your most rambly thoughts. That's in beta right now, so if you want to check it out, it is available on the App Store. We have dinner and talk about life and work for three and a half hours before I say goodbye to them and head back home. We had some great chats about some new book ideas, the secret software that Victoria is working on, emotional intelligence in relationships, and so much more. I arrive at London Bridge Station where the trains are delayed, but then I realize it's Sunday and I haven't written this week's issue of my email newsletter, Sunday Snippets, which I've been sending to subscribers every week for the last six years. My goodness, I'm old. So I type away on the train home, finish the email and watch some YouTube videos. And then when I get home, I load the email into ConvertKit, which is the email software we use, add the various links to the products, books, podcasts, and stuff that I've mentioned in this week's favorites, and hit the send button to send the email to 621,958 subscribers. 